green screen templates. We all know and love them, but have you ever tried to make your own? Let me show you how. What's up, friend? Welcome back to CapCut's YouTube channel. Look, I see green screen templates all the time on my For You page, and I know that you see them too. They're hilarious, relatable, and always allow you to put your own creative spin on them. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make your own green screen meme for TikTok, and who knows, maybe yours will be trending after this. Before we get into it, make sure that you're subscribed to the CapCut YouTube channel. We are posting a ton of product updates and tutorials, and I don't want you to miss a thing. And with that, let's go ahead and open the CapCut desktop app. There are a couple of different ways to go about creating a green Green screen meme. Let's go through the cutout method first. So before anything else, you'll have to decide what clip you want to use for your green screen meme. This can be anyone, yourself, your boyfriend, your mom, the sky's the limit here. Just make sure that the subject of your meme is clear. We're not gonna upload a video of a stationary object that's not moving, right? We're not gonna upload a video of your living room with nothing going on. Your meme must have a subject. Once your clip is ready, go ahead and import it into CapCut and drag it on down to your timeline. Next, click on your clip and head over to the dynamic menu on the right side. Click on the cutout tab and then scroll down to auto cutout. When you check this box, CapCut will remove the background of your clip. Now you're you're ready to add a background to your meme. You can import your own background or choose from CapCut's library. Simply click on the library menu on the left side and you'll see a ton of subcategories to choose from. You can place your meme in front of an explosion or on a tropical island. There is a time-lapsed cityscape and a lightning storm here. There are so many options to choose from if you don't want to import your own background. You'll just drag the background of your choice down to your timeline and ensure that your meme clip is on top of it. You can also adjust the size and placement of your meme cutout here in the player or on the right side menu. Method number two is a little bit more templatized, so you might prefer that. It all just depends on what kind of green screen meme you're going for. There is an entire subcategory here devoted to green screen templates. This is great because you can easily add your meme clip into a variety of environments. So so let's say you'd like your meme to play on this TV template here. Let's go ahead and drag that template down to the timeline and then head over to the cutout section in that right side menu. Instead of using the auto cutout feature, I'm gonna check the box next to chroma key. Using this color picker, I'm gonna select the green screen part of the template and then move over to the strength slider and turn it all the way up. Now, when I add the clip that I wanna use as my meme onto my timeline and below the green screen template, it'll show up within the TV. You can play around with the scale of your meme clip here in the player just to make sure there isn't any blank space. The same goes for any of the other templates in the library's green screen section. I can use the chroma key tool to add my meme to this music player or reveal it behind these curtains. Once you've got the subject of your meme and the background ready, it's time to look at some text options. I mean, what's a good meme without a caption? Let's click on the text menu here on the left. For the purposes of my meme, I'm just gonna drag this default text down onto the timeline. Remember to drag it all the way to the end of your video so that it shows showing up the entire time. Next, I'll head over here to the right side menu and write my caption. I think it's always important to make your caption funny and relatable. We want people to recreate this meme with their own spin on it, right? So you wanna make sure that you're speaking to your intended audience. Me personally, I'm speaking to Real Housewives fans, so I'm gonna ensure that my caption is related to an iconic moment from the show. Once I have my caption written, I'm gonna scroll down to a text preset. We wanna make sure this is legible, so I'm gonna choose the white text with the black outline. I can adjust the size and placement of my text within the player or underneath the position and size section of the text menu here on the right. Once I feel like my meme is ready to go, I'm gonna export the version that I'd like to share. This is my take on the meme. But I also want others to be able to add their own background and their own captions. So I'm gonna export a separate blank version. To do this, I'll remove my text and my background, leaving only my meme cutout. Then I'll import a green screen so that other people can chroma key that out and add their own background. I'll just drag that green screen to my timeline and extend it to the length of my meme. When I export this version to TikTok, other people will be able to add their own background and text. Maybe you'll also want to text this to a few friends on the side to get the ball rolling. If you find that you have a little bit of a knack for creating green screen templates, you can always apply to be a CapCut template creator on the mobile app. This will make sharing your green screen templates a lot easier because you can upload them directly to CapCut for others to use. To apply, open your mobile app and head into the templates tab. Then type in the code 0AHRXO into the search bar. When you do this, you'll see that the code was recognized at the top of the search. Tap on the code recognized result and then fill out the application. As a CapCut template creator, you'll have a chance to win CapCut Pro as well as 
cash rewards for viral templates. On top of that, you'll enter an exclusive community of creators to share tips and get inspiration. You do have to be at least 18 years old and the application requires a few video examples of your editing skills. So upload the best of your best green screen templates here. You can even import them directly from TikTok. Next, just link your account, read and acknowledge the disclaimer and submit your application. Once you're approved, you'll see an option to share your templates to CapCut when you export. My advice is to just start testing out green screen templates and see what gains popularity. Who knows, maybe you're just one meme away from viral success. Once you've got the process down, go ahead and apply to be a CapCut template creator and you can wow the masses with your work. I'm so excited to see what you create. Comment down below and let us know what kind of memes you're thinking of making and what other tutorials you'd like to see. And with that, I'll catch you in the next video. Happy creating!